Hi, I'm Daryl, and I'm um, Wickhouse Gavin with OCE. And I don't know all the stuff that's been going on, but they've been talking about maybe doing away with OCE and wanting to know what OCE means for us. I've been up here at the call center for on and off for going on, what, nine years. Um, I've worked for every company up here. What does OCE mean? Well, to put it in realistic terms, now, as of September 30th of this year, I'll be three years to the gate. With what I've made with OCE, I have approximately $1,400, $1,500 set aside. Even at modest saving levels, at a $1,000 level, I look forward to leaving here with three, in between three and four thousand dollars in my pocket. Now, realistically, what does that mean? Well, if you worked in the kitchen or any other place in here, the max you're going to make, and this is as a cook, and there's only a few jobs that do this, like maybe a cook or a canteen worker, you're going to make seventy to seventy-two dollars a month tops. Take out your canteen. Take out your your essentials like. Uh, your bath, uh, your uh, what do you call it? Utensils, uh, your commodities for you know hygiene. You're looking at maybe saving thirty dollars a month. How much are you going to walk out in three years saving thirty dollars a month? When you leave here, I have to have enough money to support myself for at least a month to two months before a job for the money starts coming back in enough to be able to make it on the street. The only way I'm going to make it successfully is if I have the funds at my disposal because I don't have anybody out there to help me. I have to do this on my own. So I have to have the funds available to actually make it. You're not going to get these anywhere else. I mean, whether you work for uh, in the uh, as a laundry person, uh, I know people who work there, or anybody else. Anytime you make a job where you have matching double points, this is the only way we're going to have really a free shot at making successful reentry. So if you take this away from us, you take away that opportunity. I know the question is, well, people say, well, you know, you're, you're working in a slave shop. You know, it's slave labor. I hear that even from here. Look, the reality is if you ask anybody at the OCE, DOC, any staff member, do you think you're overworked and underpaid, they're going to say yes. Everybody thinks they're overworked and underpaid. That's just reality. The fact is, at least here, we have a shot of actually making real money. And real money is better than no money. So if you take, take OCE away from me, you're taking away a real chance of me making it on the street. So I hope whoever is making the decision will consider that and not deprive people like me of an opportunity to re-enter with a successful chance of making it. So, hope you take that in consideration. Bye. Hello, uh, my name is Tom Webb. Uh, I'm with Norm Schlunt. We both work for the OC Call Center, uh, both employed by Demand Lead Generation Services. Uh, we want to do a brief with you with everybody to kind of bring to light our experiences of the program, what it's offered to us, uh, and everything there. Uh, I've been actually working for Demand for over seven years at this point. And, uh, well, I've been working for him for six. Uh, one of the things that's been interesting about it is not only the opportunity uh, to develop personally, but it's a real opportunity to see other men have an opportunity uh, to develop skills uh, in a workplace setting that they never have had the opportunity uh, to do before in their lives. Uh, totally agree with you on that. And another neat thing that I've learned, I know Norm's learned, we both basically start out as callers here. Uh, I worked our way up into different positions from training to floor leads. I worked my way up into business development. Uh, Norm actually is doing a lot of other types of uh, internal services that are uh, really beneficial to the company itself. But, you know, I really want to kind of let you know that the program itself has been extremely beneficial, not only to myself, but any other AIC that actually comes up here to go to work. Uh, gives us a lot of job skills, uh, gives us the most pay and everything else and any other job that's even afforded in the uh, DOC institutions as far as that goes. Um, yeah, we'd all like to make more money, but not at the expense of this call center or the program it offers everybody. I think it's just been really, really beneficial as far as that is concerned. And I don't know your thoughts on that, but I know it's I would agree. Happening. I think that uh, public perceptions of prison labor are misguided in this case because really 
uh, people out in the public don't know what happens inside the call center. They don't know the opportunities that we have. They don't know that men can come here and change their lives in a way that isn't possible inside of regular prison work programs. So I would say uh, that really, um, you know, it might be an opportunity for OCE uh, in general to, to let the people know, let the public know what really is happening in here. Don't hide us. Um, put us out there. Um, let us let us tell the world what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but other than that, we really appreciate everybody's time and uh, hearing us out a little bit on that. And uh, if there's any questions, you know, we're always here and we can always answer for anybody that would like to know. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. Hi, my name is Roger Allison. Uh, I've worked for OCE in various programs for probably over, I'd say, 10 years. I've worked for the OCE mailroom at OSCI. I've also worked for the call center here at S SRCI. And there's a lot of value to these programs that goes beyond just even just the monetary stuff. I've known guys that were able to save a lot of money before they got out. I've known men that were able to give money back to their community to buy presents for their kids or do any number of things. And I myself have been in a situation where the parole board has asked me you know, to save money for my eventual release. And I've been in prison now for about 31 years. They want me to save a specific amount of money. I could never do that at a prison, at, at a basic work assignment that's in prison. We just don't make enough money. There's so many different elements to these jobs. They give us job skills. I learned computer skills that I never would have learned anywhere else if it hadn't been for OCE. You know, and I also learned leadership skills that I probably never would have picked up anywhere else except for OCE. And so canceling a program like this, you guys got to understand, this has a, a, an effect over a lot of people. And that effect is, is going to be tremendous. And I understand that there's a lot of political stuff going on. And I understand that, you know, black lives matter to me too. But, you know, we got black people working for OCE, so you're hurting a lot of people. These, these are indi individuals who are given opportunities to do a lot of things that they never would be able to do at a regular prison work assignment, which would essentially allow a guy to leave prison the same way he, he came in. So I really want to say this. I want to beg you guys to really consider a decision like this before you just simply shut something down. It'll have a tremendous effect, a very negative effect on all of us. And the damage done will far outweigh any you know, supposed good that might be done by making a decision like that. So please, if you, if you have any ability, just listen to what I'm telling you because it's, it's, this is so, means so much to all of us that we have these programs. And I thank you guys for listening and thank you for hearing my voice today.